Okay, in this video I'm going to show you end user experience management uh, from the top. So work centers, technical monitoring. From technical monitoring you do monitoring and either start embedded or start window. I'm going to start in a new window. Here's one I previously opened. So the uh, end user experience management is meant to tell me whether I've got some problems at a particular site. So it looks like I've got uh, green lights at my Exhibition Street and Collins Street site and I've got a mixture of uh, red lights at the 1KWS site. So I'm going to drill into what the problem is at the 1KWS site. So over here, um, if I stretch this guy out a little bit, uh, I'm running uh, three uh, or two business transactions. I'm doing a DB02, a VA05 and the self-check. So I'm going to check the VA05 to see the response time I'm getting on this guy. Uh, if I open this up a little bit, these are the steps that I'm running for the VA05. So if I navigate into step 2, which is the business transaction itself, I've got quite a bit of time in uh, DIAG. So DIAG is the front end or the sub GUI, and then my Unix back end uh, represents uh, less than half of the of the total 727 uh, milliseconds. Okay, so uh, GUI is the, the, the big part. Uh, here, so I want to I want to drill down and find out what's going on with the with the DIAG with the with the front end part. So uh, a quick uh, a quick end-to-end uh, -end trace by right clicking, and you can go into the end-to-end uh, -end, uh, trace. So the single the single trace will show again. Uh, the server uh, is only a quarter of the pie, and of course the GUI uh, is is the big whack here. So we can do some further server analysis if we like. So we can run a number of transactions, uh, business transactions at different sites, and then monitor real time uh, the response time. You can see the the updates are happening quite regularly. And then, of course, up the top, I can go back uh, an hour or, or have a look um, at 15 minutes or, or a day or a custom range. Okay. So the scripts that I run, uh, I define in the, in the scripts bar. So over here, these these are the machines or the uh, robots where I run the checks. These are the business transactions. So I'm running a DBA2 and a VA05. And then of course you can have a look at the robots, statistics and some other bits and pieces. Later on when, when you start setting the thresholds properly, you'll be able to get some alerts coming up when the thresholds have been exceeded. So one, one such threshold that we've set up uh, with some alerting is an email that comes through. So we get an email that comes through as, as well as a, an SMS message on the phone. So here I can jump straight to the alert inbox or I can go straight into the end user experience monitoring without logging on to Solution Manager. Or I can configure uh, some of the alerts. So if I press this guy, it will take me back into my Internet Explorer. Uh, and here's where we configure some of the settings. So on the VA05, for instance, on step two, uh, the button, which goes from uh, green to yellow, is at 470 milliseconds, and then from yellow to red at 930 milliseconds. Right, so you can change the thresholds on the robots as you go. The other thing I want to show you is uh, a link here. So here you can go um, straight straight to the to the script to, to help you navigate uh, very quickly to the analysis. So that'll take you to the analysis report. So on the E2E analysis report, uh, if you click on this guy, it will take you into the script. Uh, here it takes you into different areas uh, within the Solution Manager di Diagnostics. And then of course, you know, you can navigate down to step two where we're getting the, the yellow lights here. Okay, so we can we can navigate further to have a look at the monitoring, and then have a look at some more custom descriptions. So on top of this, you can have it going out to a mobile device. You can have it going out to uh, an, an iPad, uh, an iPhone, or an Android phone. In a subsequent video, I'll show you what that that looks like. So in summary, I've shown you how to uh, fire up the end user. Um, in the end user experience monitoring. Uh, I've showed you what the screens look like. 
uh, and I showed you a little bit of the forward navigation.